Hey guys, it is Friday, February 5th. I have 16 eBay orders to ship out and I have three more orders outside of eBay to ship out. And after that, my daughter and I are gonna go to Goodwill and see if they've got anything because it's been a while since I've been to a thrift store. Let's get to work. All right, first three things are uh, orders outside of eBay. These are viewers that reached out to me via email. This right here is an ashtray I picked up. It's been maybe two weeks ago. It's uh, got Aunt Opal's signature on it from 1965. Just a really cool, unique piece. Your name's Cecil bought that for his wife. That's going out for $25 free shipping. Next is this Black Panther planter. I think it's a planter. Um, this was also part of this big buy right here. Matter of fact, these cards were too. This is going out to Shirley. You guys have seen her in some of my videos. She got it for $20 free shipping. And then all these cards right here are going out to a viewer named Adam. It's four boxes total. Those are going out for, it was like $25 plus shipping, so I think it came out to like $37 shipped. Cecil, Shirley, and Adam, thank you all so much for the support. It really means a lot. All right, onto the eBay orders now. First is a Panasonic cordless phone and base. Let's see, right down here. I got a whole box of these. There was like four phones, four bases, and then like a big base for like $5 at a garage. It was really cheap. I knew it would take a while to sell, but I had parted it out and I've made some decent money on it over time. This lot right here sold for $12.99 plus shipping. While we're down here, I'll go ahead and pull this because I know this sold. This is a vintage Cleveland Browns megaphone. It is pretty rare. I got it in that sports memorabilia auction last week. I've got six or seven dollars into this because it was like a little bundle of some other stuff. And if this was in really good shape, it would sell for about a hundred dollars. But since it's kind of beat up, it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next is a couple of Jerry Rice rookie cards. Let's see, first is in E32 right here. And the second one is in C42 right here i did an auction for both of these starting at a dollar one sold for 61 dollars plus shipping and the other sold for 66 dollars plus shipping one of those cards is going nuts of your name jason he says big fan of your channel thanks for this jerry rice rookie card he was my favorite athlete as a kid thank you very much jason thank you for your support hope you like the card I sold some more cards let's go over to d32 it is a lot of i think it's four Four Steve Youngs from 1986 Tops, also an auction, and those sold for $46.75 plus shipping. And we're going over to D42. Let's see here. These right down here, these are Walter Payton cards, total of five from the same year. Those sold for $24.50 plus shipping. Next, we're coming up to E2. It is a Nikon camera right back here. Coolpix L830, part of that bulk buy from a couple weeks ago. So I've got about $15 into that. It sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is an E42. It is a Nintendo DS game right here. Got this yesterday from my guy Mike. This is Golden Sun Dark Dawn. That sold for $12.99 free shipping. And that game's going out to Brian in Minnesota. He says, Hi John, my wife and I watch your channel and I've gotten a ton of useful tips from you. We have been selling on eBay now for six months and it has been going pretty well so far. Keep creating the great content. Brian, thanks for your support and I wish you the best of luck with eBay. Okay, next thing we're pulling is on C2 right here. It is this Fisher VCR. Has the owner's manual, remote, and I had an extra AV cable that I threw in there. This thing is really nice, worked great. Also part of that bulk buy I made a few weeks ago, so I've got maybe $10, $15 into this. It sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next thing is an A31. It is a PS1 game, a pretty rare one too. Clock Tower. Got this from the Pickwell resellers. It had some deep scratches on it, and a friend of mine has a um, resurfacing machine and tried to get them out and just they wouldn't work. The, the disc wouldn't load. I still was able to sell it. I disclosed it in the description. In the title, I put please read, and then in the description, I laid out like, yeah, we tried to resurface this. Still won't play, selling it as is, and it's still sold for $59.99 free shipping. Okay, next is on the E2 
shelf. It is this Brother Label Maker. I've got about $5 into that. It's also part of the book buy. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. That label maker is going out to Eric in Kentucky. He says, hey John, long time viewer, first time buyer. I'm an aspiring reseller and I appreciate you sharing your videos and knowledge. Thanks for all you do. Eric, thanks for your support and thanks for the kind words. Next is a DS game in C42. This little one right here, this is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for 3DS. I got this yesterday from my guy Mike with a bunch of stuff that sold for $26.99 free shipping. Next we're going to B31, it's another video game. It is Mech Assault for Xbox Complete, that sold for $9.99 free shipping. Mech Assault is going out to Jeff in Ashtabula, Ohio. That's fun to say. He says, hi John, I've enjoyed watching your, your channel over the past year. Can you include some stickers? Jeff, thank you for your business. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Next two things we're pulling are some trucks. Let's see, this one down here. These are both Wyandotte, something I picked up months ago. I've got around $10 each into them. And these can be worth some money, but mine had some damage. There was some rust, and each of them were missing at least one wheel. That one's missing a wheel. So I made sure I disclosed that. I put it up for auction starting at a dollar, and that one sold for $32.70 plus shipping. The other truck is over here. It's a little bit bigger. It's got this trailer that detaches, and I believe this one is a little bit older. Let's see if I can pull it out of here. So this one was missing a wheel as well. I think it might maybe a piece over here too. Not in excellent shape. Uh, also put it up for auction. It sold for $30 plus shipping. And the last thing I'm pulling is a VHS tape right here. This is Vultures. Picked this up at a garage sale last weekend for a dollar and sold for $14.99 free shipping. All right, guys, I just picked up Darcy and we are going to head to Goodwill and see what we can find. Are you excited? Yeah, All right, let's go. A nice Orvis jacket here. This is a great brand to look out for, but got some paint here. There's some stains down here, and I don't know what the price is, so I'm probably gonna pass on this one. All right guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I am really excited to show you everything I got. Their shoes were only $4.99 and I picked a couple pair up. These are actually cycling shoes. So these right here would clip into like the clips on the pedals of uh, bicycles. And they're really clean. I mean, these things look like they were barely worn. Uh, it's Vinzo MX. In this condition, I think I can get $40 for them. And then I got a pair of Sperry's. They had a couple pair, the other pair it was a little too worn, I think, um, but these do not have a ton of wear on them. They're in pretty good shape. Uh, $5, and I should be able to sell those for about $25 or $30. Got a little bit of clothing. I got two pair of these Wrangler Hero stretch jeans. Uh, new with the tags. They were $6 each, and they're selling between like $20 and $25 plus shipping. I got this Women's Chaps. I think it's called the Aztec print. The print is what caught my eye. I thought it was interesting and I did a really quick Google image search and it popped right up. So I was able to do some quick comps on it. And this thing sells right between like 25 and $30. I paid $5 for that. I got a Carhartt jacket with the hood in good condition. I couldn't find any stains on it anywhere. I had to pay up for it. It was 25 bucks, but this should sell for $50, no problem. And then this right here was by far the best find. This is a Nerf Terra Scout. It is like a remote control drone. So there's a remote right here, and then this thing holds all the ammo. So this attaches on the side, like over here, I think, and you just control it with the remote and it shoots darts. I paid $80 for this, and if it's working, it should sell close to 200 If it's not working and I have to part it out, I think I'll at least make my money back and maybe just a little bit of profit. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.